Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. This is Freightmaster Resources. My name is Tim. Uh, I am back after vacation. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I am battling a little bit of a cold. Uh, <laughs> I got rained on quite a bit, uh, so uh, a lot chillier weather than uh, what was anticipated, you know. I could talk about, you know, weatherman's forecasts and how they're almost always wrong and i should have probably believed that but put a little more faith into them than i should have i guess but uh anywho uh i guess getting back into it um midwest transport uh contract carrier for the usps uh has shut down um the illinois based trucking company has hit the brakes on its operations uh, this closure will affect over 650 employees, including uh, uh, 480 truck drivers. Um, the big picture on this is basically, uh, you know, they were a major U.S. Postal Service contractor. Uh, the company ceased operations on Thursday, September 5th. Uh, sources say drivers were notified by phone calls from regional managers and MTI has not issued an official statement as of my last update. Um, so essentially, there's 480 drivers that are going to be affected. 428 power units are, have been idled, and five key terminals have been shut down. Okay. Um, MTI safety record. Uh, they had a 27% out of service rate for trucks with the national average being 22, uh, 3% out of service rate for drivers below 7% national average, uh, 21 injuries and 42 tollways in the past 24 months. Okay. Uh, this kind of sparked a, uh, a sort of a discussion on X about the changing landscape of postal trucking. Um, with it being said that uh, postal trucking used to be a license to print money, and that has essentially changed over the past decade. Uh, postal truckers have continued to fail since then, okay? Um, and I guess the consensus is, is that, you know, the USPS is restructuring, um, you know, it, I don't know, it... It brings into a lot of questions um, what it's going to do with the market. Uh, you know, people asking, you know, if this is more of an Amazon effect on shipping rather than a reflection of the freight market. Um, but again, I guess the consensus is that it's it still kind of falls back on the restructuring of postal contracts. Okay. Um, It also kind of expanded to broader logistic concerns. Uh, you know, people speculated on which logistics company might thrive in this new environment. Um, you know, but, you know, it, basically those with sort of unlimited funds, FedEx, UPS, uh, CPKC, ODFL, and ProLogis, okay, um, you know, it, uh, I don't know. The, the, the thread more or less revealed a mix of industry insider knowledge, a lot of speculation about the political motivations and concerns about the future of postal logistics. Uh, one thing that is clear is that MTI's closure is seen part of a much larger trend uh, with many in the industry bracing for further changes and potential consolidation in the postal trucking sector. Um, I, I wish I kind of had a little bit more information on this. Um, unfortunately I don't, uh, we may provide, you know, I might provide an update on this, you know, as we kind of get further developments and things, but it's still in my mind, it's kind of sad to see, you know, uh, another large carrier kind of fall by the wayside, regardless of whether it's you know, due to the freight market or, you know, the whole postal logistics, uh, it's, I, 
again, I've said this a thousand times probably before that I, I don't ever like to see anybody fail in this industry or at all, right? I, I, I try to be everybody's cheerleader, right? Um, normally there's always enough to kind of go around, you know, um, and for everybody to be successful. Um, unfortunately, that just has not been the case, you know, in recent times. Um, so, uh, in fact, I've, you know, I spoke to a, a potential new client yesterday about the uh, lack of capacity, um, you know, and how that they're, they're struggling with that um, because they do work with direct carriers and with brokers um, and just sort of the whole changing landscape uh, of things. Um, I do hope that things will turn around in 2025 for, you know, those that can survive until then. Um, you know, again, I think we're probably looking at mid to end March. Um, memory serves uh, according to the last data that I, I looked at. But again, you know, a lot can happen between now and then. Um, so we'll kind of keep our our uh, finger on the pulse of that, right? And see if, if uh, if, if that's going to hold true or not. Um, I hope everybody's out there thriving and, and building relationships and things, you know, because that's really ultimately what kind of helps us get through those rough times, right? With the relationships, um, you know, building steady lanes and things and not just simply living off the spot market. Um, because the spot market, as we all know, uh, you know, that's a, uh, an up and down kind of a thing, right? Um, you know, anything can happen with that. And, you know, one minute it's good and the next minute it's bad and everybody wants to point fingers at everybody and it's the big carriers, it's the brokers, it's this, it's that, you know, uh, reality is it's, th there's a lot of different factors involved there, right? Without getting into a whole big spiel on that, you know, um, but uh, anyway, I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. Um, it's good to be back. Um, I, I apologize. I, I really, <laughs> it, I, I, I hope you, you, you bore, you made it through with me till now. Um, again, I am kind of fighting up a little bit of a cold, kind of sniffles, head cold here. Uh, so, uh, anywho, hopefully I'll be better for tomorrow. Um, but, uh, I was kind of anxious to get back. I even thought about putting this off until tomorrow, but, um, yeah, I, I kind of missed uh, being here and, and chatting with y'all. So if anybody else has any updates on, on you know, on this recent closure or anything else, um, by all means, drop me a comment uh, in the description down below. Uh, if you need to email me directly, you know, a story that you might like to share or something you'd like me to look into, I'd be more than happy to. Um, and if you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to email me, uh, freightmasterresources at gmail.com. Um, I do keep that email monitored pretty, pretty often. So, um, you know, I try to reply to everybody as quickly as possible. Um, again, with that, I hope everybody's having a great day and, uh, we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Bye-bye now.